as you can see here the amount of dust uh, whatever you call it it's too much now this is the kind of uh, stuff I told you is gonna cause problems Hi, welcome to Tufa Tech. As promised in our introductory video, we are going to show you how we're going to clean our motherboards and what we're going to do and how we're going to use these different things to reach to our final destiny. See, I believe that a decently built motherboard from brands like Asus or Gigabyte, MSI, they don't have fundamental failure. They don't just fail because of, you know, manufacturing defect or something. These days the motherboards are built so well that uh, they have a lot of uh, redundancy built into the board so that it, it goes through its lifetime without any problems. But then what causes the problem? Why it fails? Why it fails is because we don't keep it clean or we don't maintain it. Now I have here a couple of I mean, few motherboards, a graphics card and, and a fan and I'm going to show throughout the video how I'm going to clean these things using my technique. So over a period of time, I'll be buying used motherboards and building gaming PCs in the future. So I'll be putting the same kind of effort on those motherboards to make sure they are clean and they're, they're similar to what came out of the factory. And then I will bench test them to make sure they perform very good. This is the case where you need to be concerned about. This is a primitive motherboard I pulled out of an old computer just for the sake of showcasing what we are capable of. The idea here is to clean it completely, to make it spotlessly clean, so you know how I'm going to do this. So how I'm going to do this? So first I'm going to use a vacuum cleaner to suck the dust out of here, so whatever is loose comes off. Then I'm going to use a blower to blow whatever is still available or left over there. So after that, I'm going to go in with my brushes. First I'm going to use this guy to remove the the dust that is light then I'm gonna go with this guy a bit harder one on specifically on areas which is uh, which the dust are uh, stubborn and once it's all done and everything looks clean and spotlessly clean I'm gonna go with this guy on specific areas and I'm gonna clean those uh, small areas which other, either otherwise you cannot reach with this brush and uh, this has got a, a more greatly smooth bristle which will help me to complete this job and all along that, I'm going to use uh, some of uh, the WD-40 if necessary, but I hope not. I I'm trying to avoid using WD-40. There's no stubborn stuff that has to come off. Maybe on the case, maybe I use that. I might use this one. I don't want to waste compressed air on a motherboard, which I'm going to uh, just clean. I hope I can do it without this one. And also, I'm, I might use either alcohol and worst case, isopropyl alcohol, worst case, if necessary. And this is just a, a very simple LCD cleaner that I might use. And also along with that, I'm going to use this um, wipes. The motherboard, the problem here is if you have dust like this, settle down. Due to the humidity and the climate over here, there will be condensation when the CPU is turned on or when the AC is working and turned off and things like that. The condensation would cause uh, water droplets on the board. And that would make the, the dust along with that would make the whole thing conductive. And as you can see, the MOSFETs are covered and also a lot of chips are covered. That would cause electrical short, short circuit and that could fry the board, cause errors, cause crashes, cause a lot of erratic behaviors. So that is what happens with the board. And in my experience, in OEM systems, a lot of boards have been lost because of not keep, keep, keeping them clean. And last but not the least is this one. How I would clean this is I would detach this unit and because it's mostly waterproof, I would make sure this one does not get drenched. I would actually suck the dust out, blow the dust out by using the brush and then I would actually use pressurized water to actually clean through this. So it will come as brand new and it will perform as brand new because if these are covered by dust, you are losing a lot of performance right there. So 
efficiency is the key so i would do that and make this one also look like brand new a little bit of uh, you know wd-40 on this one would make it look like spanking new i understand my video regarding the motherboard and explanation is pretty long it was really necessary to explain the reason why i'm going to do things in a certain way now the second part of the video will soon follow to subscribe to see the second video where and actually i'm going to do the job the first part is to explain why i'm going to do certain things and i hope you all understand and you will follow us to find the second video i really appreciate you taking this time to watch through do comment and we would get back to you thank you